All right, third graders, um, you just finished seeing the video with Paul Clay and Cat and Bird, and um, we're going to do a little different um, today. We're going to talk about how Mr. Clay used very simple shapes, triangles, squares, rectangles, arches, <coughs> to make some of his circles, of course, to make some of his um, buildings. And um, <clears throat> he doesn't use a lot of detail in his pictures. And so today we're going to do a landscape or a cityscape, if you want to call it, um, of, um, of a village, okay, like the one that cat and bird, the cat chased the bird around in. Okay, so you will need a piece of paper and your pencil to start with. And we are going to work vertical, which means up and down. The first thing I'm gonna do is draw a line that goes across here so that I have an idea, a light line, so that I have a light, an idea where my sky meets my ground. That kind of gives me some um, perspective on where things are at in the picture, okay? So we're going to start at the bottom and we're going to um, build our way um, into our village um, and we're only going to use uh, simple shapes, okay? So I'm going to start over here on this side of my, my left side of my paper and I, I want to make my first shape very large and I'm gonna make a large rectangle that goes up above my horizon line okay now don't get all excited if your rectangles are not perfect if your lines are not perfect um, I think if you were to actually examine some of Paul Clay's um, work you would see that his weren't either all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make this triangle like go up and off into the corner up there, and uh, this is gonna be my first building, and I think um, this horizon line will um, disappear. I probably just color over it. Um, so I'm gonna make this um, like a I don't know windows. So I'm making rectangles, small rectangles that are coming off the side of this building. And, um, and then maybe I'll put um, maybe some windows that go off the side so we can't really see everything. I only see part of it. All right, and um, I don't know, maybe an arch right there. Um, and then I'm going to make a smaller one right next to it. And I'm going to let them butt right up next to each other, if you will. And again, I'm going to put a triangle roof up there. All right. And I think I will put a big triangle right here. I'm going to make him look like he's behind this building. So we don't see everything. So I'm only seeing part of the build, the part of that side of the triangle. And then I'll drive this side longer and then over, okay? And see what I've done here by, by going shorter than this side is made this look like this building is behind these. Okay, and um, let's see, over here, oh, I think I'm gonna make my, the bridge that was in the, um, I'll make the 
bridge that was in the... And all I'm doing, like I made a straight line and like a rectangle right there. Okay, and then I'm putting arches right inside there. Okay, so it'll look like a bridge that goes across. All right, so I'm going to put, since I'm in the background already, I'm going to put uh, another building right next to this one. Okay. Right, right next to that one. Okay. And um, maybe I will make a nice skinny one right here. So really all I've done is make rectangles and triangles. And I'm going to put a circle right there. Okay. And um, then I can go back in and I can add windows and I can add stripes. Um, and I can do things to kind of, um, I don't know. Enhance my drawing, enhance the picture. Okay. I think a little skinny um, squares there. Mm -hmm. I'm make some squares over here. And All right, I got to do something over here. Just not sure what I want yet. While I'm thinking about that, <clears throat> I'm going to make um, some diagonal lines that go like this, stripes, if you will, back in here. And this makes my um, picture go back into the background. There we go. That there, that there. And I'm going to um, just draw uh, straight across. And I'm going to kind of like check um, whatever you want to call this, checkerboard it. Uh, because a lot of times in um, Paul Klee's paintings, he, um, instead of like growing grass, he makes like a checkerboard of different colors of green. And so I think maybe I'll do that. You know what? I think I'll put, um, maybe I'll put one of his trees right here. He made these really cool lollipop trees. Make it go off here. And, um, they had like these really fun uh, uh, curls in the in the branches there, and we can make some um, circles behind it, like you know, make it look like circles. That makes sense on what I've done. Yeah, let's go ahead and play this out. Go ahead and make this go all the way across um, so it, it looks like it's behind uh, everything that we're looking at. Just maybe there would be a line right there, right there, right there. So that's going to be my grass, part of the, the whole grass. 
hang on a second, I, I timed out. But you're still recording, there we go. So I've got my um, buildings, and so now what I wanna do is go in and just, like I said, right in here, is put some different um, shapes in, inside of it. The um, sky, I think, will leave a solid color. Um, I would like to see you uh, use the um, both the warm and cool colors in your drawing. Uh, it might help you make sense of things. But if you notice, like in my drawing, everything kind of touches each other. There's not a lot of space between the buildings. And that was one of the things he was really kind of famous for doing when it came to this style. Again, it's very simplistic, very um, um, shape-oriented. And when we're coloring, that's how it should be colored. Very um, shape-oriented. Okay, so, you know, as you're coloring, you might decide, hey, I want to do this, and I want to, I'm going to change this a little bit, and that's okay. It doesn't have to look like the one that I drew. I'm just trying to give you some ideas on, on what I'm looking for. Okay, so enjoy this. Uh, color the whole page. No white paper should show when you're done, unless the white is a part of the um, coloring. Okay, like you might leave a window white to show that it has light on or something, but um, where you can color it yellow, whatever, however you decide that um, things need to look. And I'm going to finish mine up and color it, and in a couple days I'll post it so you can see what mine looks like. All right, so have fun with this and just kind of enjoy. You can probably stop. The video, I'm pause it um, if I've gone too fast. Um, you can, um, yeah, you can pause it. And I think I'm gonna make my sky big round circles. I, I'm feeling very clee esque tonight, um, today. There you go. All right, enjoy.